Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to drain a hot water cylinder out, a hot water tank, the one that's in your earring cupboard normally. <laughs> um, like this one is here, uh, this is my one. I'm draining it out today to renew a little element uh, that I've got in the bottom of mine. Um, now, the drain off cock will always be on the coal feed into the cylinder. And there it goes there, it's coming down there, through there and into the hot water tank. Okay, with the drain off cock on this particular instance on mine, it's here. Uh, and you just get your hose pipe, put it on, and it'll be ready to drain out. So, first thing you've got to do before you start draining, of course, is get the water off. Now, if you follow your cold feed back up, there goes mine, back up through there. You can see it looping back. Follow it back up through the airing cupboard. And you should have, if you're lucky, a gate valve. On it now I've got two because the other ones are cold feed to my bath uh, cold basin and uh, bath and everything but the one we want for me is this three quarter one so just follow it down make sure it goes into the bottom of the cylinder and there should be a drain off cock there and you know you've got the right one and then just switch this all the way clockwise until it stops all right just keep on going don't worry about the other two that's my boiler feed and the other one I say is a cold feed to the tap once it's off, don't go too mad, it should be it. Um, now, if you haven't got one in the airing cupboard, do look, it's usually covered with towels and stuff that you get in your airing cupboard so you can't see it immediately. Clear them out, have a look. If it's not there, it's probably up in the loft by the cold water tank, which is the other place where quite often you'll get uh, the valve to feed it. I know it's a bit of a nuisance, you've got to go up in the loft, but I'm afraid that's the name of the game <laughs> if you want to empty the hot water tank. If you haven't got a gate valve at all, uh, in those instances, probably best to just tie the ball cock up in the loft and empty the tank in the loft as well as the hot water cylinder. And that will leave your mains water on then at the same time. So other than that now, we're just gonna show you how to drain, open the drain valve and empty the cylinder. So open a hot tap anywhere and it will run for a little while then stop and you'll know you've got the hot water off okay i won't bother to show you that it's quite evident okay hose on out the front somewhere don't put it on your lawn it does kill the grass so don't put it on your lawn that hose pipe very important <laughs> put it down the drain if you can spanner on and give it a few turns like so and we'll get a running you'll hear it go almost i mean usually you get a sort of kind of a gush once it's going I can feel it's going. There you go, can see the little bit of water there. That means it's running out. Can you hear the air sucking in? That's where it's drawing it off and away it's going. So we're on our way, uh, and basically now we're just gonna let it go all the way until the water stops running out the front. Uh, and that'll be it, the tank will be empty. So if you have got a leak on it or anything and you need to do anything to it or you want to descale it or you've got other problems with it, you want to renew the element in the top, or in mine, since I've got a little element at the bottom there, um, you can do it. And then just, obviously, once it's empty, shut it back off, turn the valve back on, fill it up, and uh, that's it, done. So there you are, very quick one from me again. Uh, you know where to go, usual place for everything, Derrick and 33. Thanks for watching, bye.